age on here. So if you got one of these uh, Fender Stratocaster toy guitars for Xbox or uh, even PlayStation, I'm assuming they're same. Uh, I had a problem with the other guitar and I fixed it, so I figured I'd get the get the camera out and uh, show you what I did to fix it because this one has the same problem. Uh, what's going on is when you're playing, actually the other one had a dual problems. The sent the uh, second button would stick down sometimes so there's a fix for that too but this one the buttons if you play this game you know you gotta kind of you, know, you know just just hitting that tiny bit needs to register what's going on is you have to now this is getting to be where you push it but you have to give the extra push and if you're uh, playing along to a game that is a higher difficulty sometimes you just need to you know touch these and move on and it's not happening it's missing notes because you you really gotta push down harder than normal. Uh, so the other the other guitar came out fine. It fixed it immediately. Um, again, I didn't know what I was doing until I took it apart. So this one should go a little trickier, uh, faster rather, uh, because I learned a few uh, uh, tips along the way. For instance, well let me let me show you what you need for tools. You just need a, a really a either a um, screwdriver, number two head. I'm just going to use a power drill here, but um, taking the other one apart, I did learn some things like, like for instance, let me get this strap off of here. For instance, the uh, the neck here, see this little button? I didn't know that this button was here, A. Well, this one doesn't seem to be working. Um, but the button itself, let's see if I can mash this down. Nah. It, it, it releases this because I took this uh, this whole all these screws off and all this mechanism, but I found inside here that this thing I thought it was to, to get this head off without taking things apart. This one seems to be jammed, so I'm gonna have to take it apart. Again. Oh, there it goes. That's pretty forceful. Now I'm assuming this comes off because, like I said, when I had the other one off, yeah. Uh, Boy, this thing's jammed in there. So I took the other one apart, and there's a, a metal plate in here that you have to kind of get with a smaller screwdriver, either one or zero. And I took all those apart, and then I discovered what this button was for, or what I thought it was for, and that's what it's for. You just It's just a quick release for this. Uh, or if your button doesn't go down, just take this apart, and you'll see there's a metal plate in here. You could take that piece off, and now uh, this, this neck will come off, and just put everything back together. Now, uh, <clears throat> there's some screws in here that I'm going to take off. I basically took this whole thing apart. And there's uh, different size screws. I think there's three different size screws. Short, medium, and large. There's only four large, so they're right here. Take the batteries out. Yep. <laughs> Put some batteries in there. I don't think this thing is. Uh, let me get a little screwdriver, a little tiny one. A little light glass screwdriver because I'm going to need that later, anyways. So just keep track of where your screws are, <clears throat> because like I said, there's um, three different sizes.
right. <clears throat> so one thing on the other side I gotta do, <clears throat> and uh, because this is my second time around, there's a, a I'm gonna leave one screw in here just because I'm not gonna take this apart yet. So getting, see this neck is kind of flexible now uh, because most of the screws are, are loose. There's only a couple holding it in now from the inside. But right here, this uh, these frets, if you just take and favor one side, like I'm just gonna put my thumb here and favor pulling up on the thumb and uh, they, they pop right out. And then they, they got a little metal piece in here. I'll show you in a second closer up. But So I just, pop these out again I favor I, I, because they got little tabs in there so when I first took this off I was like wow I can't believe those tabs didn't break off um, but pulling straight out maybe you know because they're tangs maybe they wouldn't release as quick so I think putting pressure on the, on the one side they come out fairly easy and it, it might leave some parts behind but I'll show you how those go in those aren't um, the reason I'm taking these off you don't have to take these off if you don't uh, want to, but the reason I'm take them off, I'll show you in a second once I get them all off. Same thing with the, the forward ones. All right, the reason I'm taking these off is because if you look close, I don't have a zoom, so I can't show you, but the, um, the, the, the tabs have grease in them. And uh, what was going on in the other one, they had, uh, I don't know what it's, dialectic grease or, you know, whatever kind of, <clears throat> kind of grease it was, but it's to help, you know, the, this thing be smooth. <clears throat> and it was collecting dust, and it got kind of all gummed up. So what I did with the other one, because the other one had a sticking button, so I'm assuming the grease, you know, mixed with the dust and the dirt, it was just holding the button down, I'm assuming. So I've got some uh, alcohol, and what I did was, uh, for the other one, was I uh, just cleaned everything up, whether I used, a, I think I used a Q-tip for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean all these, uh, all this gunk and dirt up and dust. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna reapply um, some, <clears throat> Dielectric grease or even regular petroleum jelly is going to do the trick. I'm just going to put a little dab right underneath the, uh, you know, the tabs where they're going. I'll show you how to put them in, in a second. But so that's that part. Again, if you don't think your buttons are sticking or, or whatever, you do have to take the second one off. Let me get this first one off. You do have to take the second one off because there's a screw there. So even if you don't want to take these tabs off, the second one, um, you have to get the screw off to get this fret off, fret bar. Now that they're off, I'm gonna flip this around again. See, I've got a part in here too. I don't know if you can hear it. It's been there for years. I bought these new, so. I need to take this part anyway to see what, See what's jiggling around in there but like I said when the other one started goofing up you can't really play this game when their uh, buttons sticking so this this just pops off and there'll be a a, a wire attached show you in a sec so this this wire here was just attached there and uh, you just pull it straight out and then it's attached here too, so if you want to take this completely out of the way, you can remove these two just by pulling up straight on the wires. There's one. This one seems to be problematic. Is that a little screwdriver? I just want to get this out of the way. There's no uh, there's no release tabs or not, they just pull straight out, so. So here's the other two screws right here, one, two, and this, this whole mechanism will come off. Uh, but what I was talking about earlier, I took a, a, I might have to do these two screws too, I'm not sure that, uh, because, because of the way this neck came off, I took everything apart before. I took this whole thing apart. I'm just trying to save some steps, so let me get these two off, see if this will come off easy enough. I think this is a shorty, and this was, 
a medium. No, nope, this one's even shorter. So that's, I said there was three different kinds of screws. There's actually four. This is the shortest one and it goes right here. So the other ones are probably self-explanatory. All right, so. Just wiggle this off. Yeah, I guess we do have to take these off. I wasn't sure because of the way I took it off this time, but these two screws are even different. So there's six times, six kind of screws, but these screws just go to this neck and uh, they're pretty easy to identify. There we go. All right, so that just pops out of there. And when I took the other one out, these two little uh, metal tabs, I'm, I'm assuming they're for, uh, for uh, support. Uh, one of them popped out, but you can see the groove they're in. So if it pops out, just pop that back in. So now we got that aside. This is the the fret bar for the for the solo deal, and I just got these ribbons. Oh, first I want to find this part in here that's floating around. There it is. This was annoying. I don't know what it goes to, but it's a broken plastic piece from something. white tab it's broke I mean all that looks good so I'm not sure where this came from or where it broke off from maybe the whammy bar yeah there it goes it's just it looks like a stop for the whammy bar although it stops on its own so I'm not sure if you need that piece <laughs> but I don't have it anyways <laughs> so so where were we? So now we're going to take this uh, fret off. Ooh. That might be a uh, different. I was using number two. That might be a number one. Might be a number one bit. Yep. Yeah. A little smaller screws. So this part here, I don't have uh, the proper camera to show you to zoom in. It's, it's not zoomable that camera. What was going? See what's going on here is the these buttons are hard. You know they seem like they're working fine. They got contact and everything. So taking these uh, rubber or silicone little pieces off will expose. There's a board here just with copper and then this piece here is just a uh, I don't know if it's plastic inside the silicone but a little black piece so what I did to remedy to this was and I, if I can on the front board there I'll show you if I can get a closer closer uh, close up <laughs> I'll show you what I what I'm talking about but I took I took some alcohol here and cleaned this piece and and, whoop, and a lot of blank black stuff came off at least on the uh on the other guitar doesn't seem to be too much here the other guitar had a lot of stuff on it and then this i took and if, if you could see i could see here with the naked eye where this black piece was constantly pushing on it so what i think is going on is it's getting clouded with either dust or dirt so because you probably can't see it because of this, this camera I'm using, but there's an imprint of this black rubber piece. And I think that's all it is, that it's just got dirt or dust or a buildup of whatever that, you know, remnants is. So what I did was took an eraser, which I gotta go get. I took an eraser and just went over this with a eraser, not hard, just fine. And then I cleaned up the, uh, the contact bar, you know, the, the copper here with with the Q-tip and the alcohol, and that did the trick. Uh, the other one, all the buttons were sticking, and you had to push down really hard to get them to go down. And as soon as I got rid of that imprint mark, and again, I'll try to get you a close-up of, of the one up here to uh, show you the imprint mark. But once I cleaned all this up and, and did the imprint, well, let me do that, let me do that real quick.
All right, so I don't know how many times you can take these buttons in and out, but a little closer up, you can see the tabs are very small, tiny, look really frail. So pulling this sucker out, just can't believe that these don't break. And uh, this is the wire or the, the piece of metal. If I can get it. This piece of metal snaps into this, it would actually be this way, but snaps into these little tabs here too, which again, I can't believe, you know, that pulling this straight out, I gotta get my glasses and I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, pulling this straight out doesn't uh, break these. Well, in my case, it didn't break them, but <laughs> I'm sure if you pull on these hard enough or, uh, you know, take these out m more than enough times, they're gonna break. Uh, so what I found was, let me get one that doesn't have, take this one apart. I'll show you putting this in. It'd be easier because when this snaps through, let me see if I can show you this. When this snaps through, what am I looking at here? Get this center one. You see how the tabs come up, right? It'd be a lot easier if you could just go from this side and just, you know, pull, push them tabs in. I, I, I need two hands, but you can see what I'm saying. You just kind of squeeze them in and it'll fall right out. Let me put this down, I'll show you. See, it comes out real easy that way, right? Just putting that up, but you can't get this bar off without taking that, uh, that one, you know, this is behind the second, I think it, yeah, B, behind the second one. You have to take at least this fret off to get this screw off. It'd be on the other side here. So I already uh, cleaned up the contacts and I added some Vaseline, but even these, if you can see them, even these tabs, just can't believe they don't break, um, you know, pull, pulling them straight out. Uh, so if you're worried about that, you do have to take this, this second one out. You have to take this one out to expose that screw to get this fret bar apart, you know, to separate this piece here. Um, but that being said, if you just get this, take your chances on this one, then you can, I suppose, turn it around. And I didn't try it this way, so I wouldn't know, but because the wire is going to be in there hooked to it too, uh, maybe I'll, I'll put one together and see if we can do that. But um, then you can turn it around and take off these, these screws here, these four screws. I haven't done this yet because I wanted to show you how dirty they are and the reason why the buttons are sticking. But once I get these uh, four screws off, one, two, three, four, then maybe, you know, pushing from the top down will save it from breaking. Uh, again, none of these broke, but it, it I just, which is unbelievable. I just showed you how frail and, and little these tabs are. So either I'm getting lucky or they're, <laughs> they're designed to come off, you know, pulling them straight or, you know, pulling them off the top like that. It worked for me. I just don't want to have you, you know, break all your tabs, you know, going all crazy, taking them off if they're, you know brittle um so let me let me clean i gotta still clean these the old grease out of here and put some new grease all i did was take a uh where is it a little jeweler um uh, screwdriver dipped it in a vaseline and just kind of pasted around here this just helps it i'll show you when it when we put one of these back together um you know because the button's going up and down just less friction Again, I, I think this is probably overkill on uh, petroleum jelly because it's probably going to collect some dust and dirt. You might not want to use this much, but uh, that's what I did because this is the original. I didn't take any of the off. You could still see remnants of it. It's not nearly as much. Uh, so that's where I'm at. Let me, uh, let me take this off next and I'll show you up close those buttons, what I'm talking about. Get kind of cluttered up here. Let me take this off. Same thing. Number one bit seems to be doing a trick here. Alright, so taking these uh rubber pieces off. Yeah, so I could see that. Let me let me let me see if I can get you a close up of what I'm talking about.
I don't know if that's going to come out. I'll try to go each way, but you see the circle? I could see them plain as day, but the circle caused from that black piece, this is what I believe is uh, causing a problem. Cleaning these contact, copper contacts up, did the trick on the other one. So let's see if it did on this one, because each one of these buttons were sticking. Not sticking, you'd have to mash them down harder than normal. Uh, so let me clean this up like the other, did the other ones, and I'll go test it and see if that did the trick. So basically that's all I did, was take a Q-tip, I just mixed all these with the old ones, but like I said, the other the other um, guitar, the black stuff was coming off pretty regular. I don't know if it's just a piece of plastic in there, but that's a little bit dirty. See the black stuff there? I don't know. Uh, you know, if that's causing, I'm just saying, this is what I did to, to, to rectify the situation. So I cleaned each one of these, these uh, contact buttons off. And then I, again, I gotta go, I can't find my eraser. I had it. Oh, here it is. I'm just using a uh, simple eraser on the back of a pencil or whatever. And uh, just going ahead and roughing these up, right? Kind of just erasing that mark <laughs> which which comes right off you'll see in a second see they're all gone so i think that was the ticket at least it was on the other one and now i'll just take a uh, Some alcohol and just get all that, if any, remnants off. Gook. So now, as you can see, there's no more circles, it's all shiny metal. So that's uh, that's a fix. I'm going to put this back together and watch it not be fixed. But that's what I did to the other one, and it fixed the problem. So I think I already, you know, I already cleaned this one up. So let me put everything back together. Well, i got to finish cleaning all, cleaning all these doohickeys up. Uh, it's easier just to kind of like expose it a little bit, pull the pull the ears back. Now I can get my, uh, my paper towel with alcohol. Let's see if there's still remnants on that. Yeah, see that? It's just dirt, dust, or whatever it is, crud. And I just think that's just the contact. That's all it is. It's just a, a weaker contact. So let me let me uh, let me clean all these up. Then I'll put everything back together and I'll speed it up for you so you don't have to uh, see the slow process. Maybe I'll put some elevator music on. So let me uh, clean the rest of these up and and do that. So I'll be right back. Now putting these. Uh I would try to avoid uh, touching these contacts, you know, for fingerprint grease and all that. Um, but putting these, putting these boogers back on, you're either going to have to have like fingernails or, um, <laughs> let's see, what I did last time is just kind of set them in the holes. I'm trying to do this in the midair without a bench. Just kind of set them in the holes and uh, flip it around because you can't push them through. You're going to have to use a tool and uh, just pull the legs through. Pretty simple. Because if you just try to push them through, they just squish. Uh, and just have it seat and that's it. Not a button. Contact. Everything's good to go. So let me put the rest of these on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I got nine more to go put them on and then I'll start assembling the, the rest of this but that's where we're at all right what's next let's put this puppy on 
So we're done on this side. Looks good. All right, so we had a, uh, a short screw, and I think this is it here. Yeah, it's the shortest. Shortest one goes right here. And I think that was a number two. I don't want to use a power drill going back in just because uh, you could set the clutch on that, but we'll just use manual, manual labor here so we can feel it tight. All right, these were long, long screws, but the neck, or the body's got to go back on that, so we don't touch that. But there wasn't one in here, and I think that was a regular fella, or a uh, short, but not too short. <laughs> Same thing here. So that's that. That's this side. Flip her over. And we got this screw here, which was a normal, normal fella. See what I'm saying? Like, if you took all them screws off the back, this thing's still going to be held together by this one little screw. So you definitely have to take that guy off. It's the only way I could see getting that, getting that off. Short, short guy. So now everything's tight, everything's back together. We can actually put this, uh, this neck on, right? There it goes. I didn't hear that button. Yeah. So you might want to take your, see the button didn't pop back up. Cause like I said before, I took in, uh, Let's just try, let's try one thing here. I took this whole thing apart before, but let's see. It doesn't appear like it's gonna pop out by itself. Yep, there it goes. Need a little assistance. All right, so I guess we can put the back on this because we're all set back here. All right, make sure everything works. The buttons just pop in, so we're not worried about the buttons yet. I'll show you how that works. We do have to put this guy back on. Remember, we had uh, we had two plugs to plug in. Remember where they were? No. <laughs> so this is one. Probably can can only go in one avenue, so it doesn't appear that they can go, uh, you know, anywhere else. There's one. It's in the hole. All right. And put this back together. Oh, don't forget, uh, where is it? Don't forget your little guitar strap piece. This one here you can screw and unscrew. This one here it needs to be fitted in there. If you uh, forget it, then you can't use your little strap. Just kind of go around and make sure everything is uh, tight, but you don't want to over tighten this with plastic. So I think we're all set here. I'm just looking at my line here. 
everything's good. We didn't pinch a wire, right? So it's almost back together. Uh, these don't get used very often, once a year, so you have to blow the dust off, and that's why they're dirty. But So that's originally why I thought that the buttons just had dust in them that was creating the uh, the problem. But who knows, it might be something else causing that. All right, so these go in. How these go in is there's a couple pieces involved. Where's my tweezers? So in case everything falls apart, you got this square or rectangle piece goes around here, which doesn't matter up or down. It can only go on one way. And if you remember these, uh, these two little clips, this is for the skinny ones. And I, I also clean these up with alcohol because they, they seem kind of sticky. You know, just uh, like the old, it, it's not glue, but the old remnants was sticky to my hand. So I, I clean these all up. And um, so it looks like they can go this way, but they go like this, right? They snap in there. One. Gotta get my glasses. Can't see what I'm looking at. Two. See how it's free flowing? Like, it needs to be free flowing, yeah? And then you take this, and uh, well, of course, they're color coded, right? Blue. I think blue was uh, fourth to the last. Where's it go? It goes green, red, yellow, blue, and orange. I haven't played in this in a while, so I'm surprised I remember that. But so, what you want to do, I don't know if you can see this, these, these tabs here, they're, uh, they're open on the ends, on the, on the bottom end. So you just kind of take take them and slide them in, then rotate this and push it in. Oh, it fell out, see. You gotta rotate them in, probably use gravity. Work much better. And then just push it in. And, and uh, the button with the silicone button there, that keeps it raised up and the uh, the bar deal just keeps it from popping out. <laughs> so that should work fine. This is the green one. Snap that back in place. All right, see how that flips down nice and easy. Getting these are a little easier just because uh, they're bigger. They're easier to do just because that it's a wider space. So let me finish these up, and then we'll go test them. All right, you can see or not. See the buttons? They're reacting uh, as they should. Before you would you would have to really mash this down, you know, to hit this button, it, this light. It would it would never repeat like that. You would have to mash it down, and you just can't play this game if you're. You have to, you know, hold the button down too hard. So, you know, they're all working now. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, so, if you got this problem or a similar problem, taking it apart and just doing that little uh, cleanup move, uh, I did the trick on this. So, hope, hope that helps somebody out. Uh, I know these things are getting old and antique now, but uh, if you do have one of these, like I bought this new. Uh, I don't know. I don't, they probably still sell this rock band kit, but this particular guitar is more than 10 years old. So uh, that being said, you know, it only gets played once, once a year, if that, not even. So anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.